please state, <laughs> please state your name for the folks at home. <clears throat> Dave Carr. Hey, Dave. Can you uh, recreate exactly what you looked like when I first came out to talk to the ladies and gentlemen? You know what I'm talking about. Sure. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, everybody. Craig, this could be someone with a legitimate eye complaint. <laughs> it could be, or Dave could be a douche. <laughs> why did you do that? Why, why did you do that? Why do you turn your back on people when you move your glasses around? <clears throat> No, I think, I think you should take them off, because you've got lovely peepers. Well, thank you, sir. And your eyes are nice, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me, Dave, why were you wearing your sunglasses indoors? <clears throat> the, uh, the bright lights of the studio were glaring in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is bright to you. Yeah. <clears throat> do I don't get out much. No, I was going to say, I was, do you live in Alaska <laughs> six months of the year? <laughs> Three. <laughs> so, what do you do, Dave, in Chicago? <clears throat> I'm a teacher. Really? What do you teach? History. Really? Yes. What, what type of history? What area? <clears throat> what area? Uh, ancient history. Really? In a time when people would brave the outdoors with no sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> so, Dave, you're on vacation in Southern California. I am indeed. How's it going? Good until now. <laughs> no, man, you got to remember, now that you've talked on TV, Union Real Estate, you get about 40 bucks, I think so. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I will too. <laughs> Dave from Chicago, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Sit down, relax, you at home too. Can I just say, everyone at the front was very convincing, but the guy at the back is kind of going, oh, man. I don't even have to try. He'll never see me from there. <laughs> well, you're wrong, sir. I saw you. I saw you not trying me, just giving me the limp hand. <laughs> and if it's one thing I hate, it's a limp hand from a gentleman. <laughs> Sir, if you give me the limp hand, you are no gentleman. There! I said it. It is, however, a great day for America, everybody. Yes. It is! It's been... It's very... All right, that's enough. It's very hot. It's very, very... It's a record-breaking heat across the country. It's very, very hot today. Super hot. How hot was it? <laughs> All right. Uh, it was so hot, I saw Rupert Murdoch trying to hack his way into a Cold Stone Creamery. There. <laughs> How hot was it for you, Jeffrey Peterson? It was, it was so hot. It was so hot that I saw Lindsay Lohan steal a snow cone. Nice! <laughs> Nice voice work, Jeffrey. Thank you. Yeah, good. All right. It was so hot in New York, vandals were breaking into David Letterman's studio just for the air conditioning. There you are. 
that was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. It was so hot in Washington that Congress had to install a fan on the debt ceiling. Very good. <laughs> It was so hot in Washington, Congressman Wiener texted pictures of his swollen thermometer. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That was very good with the voices, though. I like that a lot. That, Thank you. Yeah, very good. It's a great day for us here in Los Angeles. I don't know if you can tell, but we have, in fact, survived Carmageddon. The, uh, yes, the giant freeway closure. It was long, it was hard, it was pretty hairy. <laughs> Again. Anyway, we made it through. What a load of crap. For three months, the local news here has been drilling it into our heads, saying the same word over and over and over again. Bull. No. <laughs> the, that's you. They've been saying Carmageddon every hour. There would be updates on a freeway closure. You know, every hour on the earth. Still closed. Still closed. Still closed. <laughs> Freeway's still not open. <laughs> now, if you don't live in L.A., first of all, congratulations. And <laughs> if you don't live here, though, you might not have heard about the Carmageddon brouhaha. The, uh, the local 405 freeway here was closed for the weekend so it could get some work done, like everyone else in L.A. <laughs> It was to add an extra traffic lane for Jay Leno's cars or something. Anyway, the, the 405 freeway is the main highway in Southern California. If freeways were Kardashians, then the 405 would be Kim. You know, it's, it's uh, more popular than the other ones, a little more glamorous, has room for a carpool lane. So, all right, that's enough. Anyway, apparently they're closing the freeway again next year for even more construction. Because if there's one thing Hollywood loves, it's making a sequel to something that sucked the first time. So... <laughs> you know what, though? I, they're going to need to give it a better title so people get excited about it. May I suggest Carmageddon and the Deathly Hallows Part 2? <laughs> where, where, where Voldemort gets rear-ended. <laughs> Then he goes into traffic. Anyway, the Carmageddon... <laughs> Carmageddon came and went, and what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. They actually finished construction on the freeway 16 hours ahead of schedule. Do you hear that, Oscars? <laughs> it turned out to be one of those Y2K things, or like the rapture that was going to be in May. Remember that? All that build-up followed by a giant bust. The only giant bust in L.A., not full of silicon. And once again, <laughs> once again, like the sucker I am, I believe the hype. I feel such a fool now. I hid in the basement all weekend with a can of Spam and a rifle. <laughs> Pretty much a regular weekend for me. Now. By the way, when I say head in the basement, I'm referring to the basement here at CBS, where we keep the emergency CBS supplies, like, um, the rest of Drew Carey, uh, uh, the, the, uh, replacement actors for Two and a Half Men. Wait till you see who the next one is. Start stretching, Valderrama. <laughs> that would never happen. I didn't really hide this weekend, I just went out, just not in my car. I spent all weekend on my bicycle. Do we have a picture of me and my bicycle? There I am. <laughs> There's me. You can always tell me I'm the one with the giant head and the knickerbockers. Look, there you are. <laughs> you know who I blame for this Carmageddon hullabaloo is the local media here. They went cock-a-hoop. <laughs> If they didn't call it Carmageddon, it, it, it wouldn't have, no one would have got worked up about it. It could have been just called temporary freeway closure, and everyone would be like, yeah, right. <laughs> if you give something a catchy name, though, everyone pays attention. That's why I've decided to call my genitals the Three Amigos. <laughs> <laughs> the Three Amigos! The Three Amigos are uh, the uh, Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Or, uh, oh, two and a half men. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Carmageddon's a stupid word. Only, only in this town, only in Los Angeles, is the concept of not driving akin to the end of the world. 
You know what the local teams will do now? It's over the wait for rain, because that's always a big deal here in LA as well. It's starting to sprinkle. Oh my God, it's rain apocalypse 2012. <laughs> Actually, that's not... Rain Pocalypse is the name of an L.A. weatherman. <laughs> and now the weather with Rain Pocalypse. It's gonna rain! <laughs> <laughs> that's what he talks like. <coughs> yeah. I usually stay away from the freeways anyway, even when it's not Carmageddon. I don't like places with big crowds. That's why I go to Dodger games. <laughs> See? See what I did? See what I did? Yes. That was a joke. That was an actual joke right there. <laughs> hey, yeah, it was like a late night thing. Like, you're the, uh, let's do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Well, you well, kid don't you, you, don't you. Rain apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did you go out this weekend? Did you go driving around? No, no, I can't drive, you jerk. <laughs> I mean, you can't drive. Surely an automatic with some cruise control, you'd be fine. How dare you? I've been plugged into this wall all weekend. Ah, oh, sorry, man. I, I meant to unplug you before I left. You've been turned on all weekend with nothing to do? Yeah. Maybe we should pick someone from the audience. That guy. No. Hey, you know what you gotta do, it's... Okay. Uh, okay, go do it. Kids at home, don't forget to have your secret decoder rings ready for a secret message from Uncle Jeff. <laughs> no, man! No! That is not what we're doing! You know what we're doing, do the other thing. Okay, reruns? We don't got no stinking reruns. No! Do the thing! Oh, uh, go to commercial. <laughs> Welcome back. Bermuda Triangle makes things disappear. Bermuda Triangle, don't go too near, don't go too near. <laughs> How sincere was that smile now? <laughs> You're right, Jeff. Bermuda Triangle in your pants. <laughs> right? No? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm Have you good, been... man. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> Are you being a sidekick kind of thing again? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm trying. Yeah, you're the man. Oh, Top shelf, oh, lots right, of jokes. Right, right. Big time laughs. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what time it is, don't you? Yes, I do. It's thrills, adventure, tweets. It's Craig Ferguson reading emails and berating viewers like you've never seen before. <laughs> say to me, Craig, what is ass mode? And I'm like, Jeff, Jeff, what is ass mode? Ass mode's a way of life. Way of life. <laughs> way of life. <laughs> All right, here's, uh, this is from Debbie in Norfolk in uh, Nebraska. It says, uh, Dear Craig, I have a very buxom friend who sometimes stows items in her cleavage. <laughs> considered this, but I think it's socially awkward to pay with money which has recently been, been between my breasts. What do you think? <laughs> no, I, I think it, I think it, it's, no, it's fine. <laughs> In fact, it's best if the money's still there and you reach across to the person and say, help yourself <laughs> and remember to put the change back. <laughs> I don't know, do you <laughs> All right, now get off. <laughs> Arse. All right. This is from Spencer in Victoria in British Columbia in Canada. Have you ever been up there? Oh, yeah, I got oh, a yeah, you there. did. You got a yeah, place there. Yes, you can buy some oh, 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 All right. Uh, Spencer says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I work in a restaurant. Ooh. 
And the other day, an older man tapped my behind. I walked away and I didn't say anything, but should I have? Yes, thank you. <laughs> tapped my behind? <laughs> Things are getting a little freaky up there in Canada, right? <laughs> Ass mood. <laughs> this is from Jack in River Forest, Illinois, who says, uh, Hi, Craig, Jeff, and oh, Secretariat. Who's that? Jack in River Forest, Illinois says, Hi, Craig, Jeff, Secretariat. I've been dating a girl for four months now and I really love her. Oh. <laughs> I want to spend the rest of my life with her, but this is the third time I have felt this way. How do I know if it's real this time? <laughs> You're asking the wrong Crikey. guy. I don't know, man. It's... Give her all your stone now. <laughs> I believe in love. Do you still? But you believe in love, Jeff? Oh yeah, man. I still believe in love. Yeah, you do. You believe? Yeah. In, you believe in soulmates? Soulmates, yeah. Why do you? You make it sound dirty. I was just thinking about extending my cord. <laughs> anything to do with what we were talking about has to do with love man <laughs> has to do with outlets and strange plugs and things like that <laughs> that's love ferguson that's love maybe that's robot skeleton love <laughs> but that's no love i want any part of mister well then good sir i bid you adieu <laughs> Okay, then. So long. <laughs> off you go, then. I, I'm trying to... Off you to... go. Yeah, go. I... You can walk off now. Go Son on, of walk a... off into the sunset, I my can't... dear. Yeah, you can't. I can't. You can't move. Ah. <laughs> this is from Rod in Bellingham in Washington. says, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary... I... Uh... <laughs> I'm currently trying to quit smoking cigarettes. It's very difficult and cold turkey does not seem to be very effective. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> it is very effective. You roll up the turkey and the cigarette paper and smoke it. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you ever smoke? Oh, uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> You know, I wish you'd just walked off when we did that thing there. That's, that's when it was working. Now it's just, it's, everything's turned tootsie fruitsy. No. Ass mode. <laughs> oh, you know what? I did smoke once. Oh, did you? Yeah. What? And then I died. <laughs> there, see, see? CBS cares. CBS cares. We'll be right back. We're just doing the robot during the commercial breaks. It's the, it's the dance that all the kids are doing now. And when I say all the kids, I mean me and Jeff. <laughs> My first guest this evening is a very beautiful movie star, so don't embarrass me. Okay. She's in Our Idiot Brother, which is in theatres August the 26th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Elizabeth Banks, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely charming. And I have to yeah. say, I'm very happy to see you blonde again. Thank, yes, me too. That was a wig in that clip. Really? Yeah. So you never went that color at all? I have gone that color 
Um, just not for that movie. I couldn't do it for that movie. I don't even remember why. I was doing something else. I had to be blonde. We wigged it. We wigged it? We wigged it. Is that how you say it in Hollywood? Yeah. Nah, we wigged it, man. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to wig it later. Hey, Jeff, you want to wig it later? Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's wig it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, you, congratulations. You just got a new little baby running around. I That's have, nice. yes. A, a mini human lives in my house with yeah. me now for like the next 20 years. Really? Yeah, I no, like I, I've got a permanent roommate. 18. Out you go. You're out. Yeah. I, I'm giving him an extra two. I don't know why. No, I don't know. What name? Maybe I'll Do change my mind, mind. His name is Felix. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Is he a cat? <laughs> he, he gets a lot of cats as gifts. Right. Um, yeah. No, I, it means happy. Does it really, Felix? Happy that's a nice name, actually. You should have another kid and call him Oscar. By the way, a lot of people, a lot of people think his name is Oscar. These these young kids have no idea who Oscar and Felix are. By the way, there's no That's young just kids me in this you. crowd. I don't just know. Me and you. I don't know who you're seeing, but we've got bus We're parties nice. coming in from San Bernardo, and they're. Uh... <laughs> now, uh, will you get any sleep? How old is he? He is uh, he's four months, and my he takes very good care of us. So I have to say he sleeps really well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you know I've got a six month old. He he doesn't sleep that good. No. No, no. It's clearly your fault. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know about you. I, I've got an older boy and who's 10 who I still go in at night when he's sleeping and poke him to see if he's still That's alive. Just go poke him. I know. Yeah. That is a constant. And they're like, are you all right? Like, yeah. Dad, I what? Know. You know, I'll, when he's going to college, I'll be like <laughs> coming into his dorm like, yeah. hey, you all right? You all right? It is sort of, it's, it's what we take on when it's, we bring yeah, him into the world, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of worried that I'm a crap parent. No. Thanks. I feel better. <laughs> Do you think you'll be strict? Are you going to be strict? Are you going to be kind of tough? Yeah. Were you wild when you were a kid, though? Were you kind of unruly and rebellious? Uh, not really, no. I, I was pretty much a goody two-shoes. I mean, I was someone who got away with a lot of stuff because I was That's not a goody two-shoes. That's a sneaky two-shoes. I was a little sneaky. I was a little sneaky. I was like the girl who did, like, really well in school, and it, it was one of those things where, like, if you had A's on your report card, like, mom and dad don't really ask questions. Do you know what I mean? Like, really? Yeah. That's right. where I went wrong! <laughs> One of the one of the ways, yeah. Were you very were you very wild? Did you go to college? I did go to college. As yes. an actress, I was did you in find a that necessary? And the whole really? Thing. Yeah. Did you yeah. What, did you have did a what, Delta Delta Delta? Can I help you? Help you? Help you? Was that it? Yeah. Was that it? I was a tri Delta. Yes. Really? Yeah. I was married to one of your Side sorority girlfriends. Really? Yeah. How was she? Great. <laughs> So I guess I no, no, no. I'm married. I'm married again, but uh, but not to a Delta. Not to a Delta. No. no. Okay. No. Did you did you meet your? Uh... Yes, I met. He was a fraternity boy at the really? time. Really? Yep. I met him on the lawn of a frat house. He hates it when I tell this story, but no. I, let's hear. <laughs> was he passed out comatose drunk and people were pouring beer into him? No, but he was a sophomore and I was a freshman, and I I still. Um, make fun of him because he was very much trying to take advantage of like new girl you know on the block right. and was like I know the ropes like you know I'll take you around I'll show you all the good stuff to do and it was like our where, where was this exciting place um, it was in Philadelphia ah yeah the University of Pennsylvania oh that's nice I like Philadelphia I saw that bell there you know there's a, the Liberty Bell <laughs> yeah it's a very American thing it's broken it's, broken. it's got a big old I was like do I say anything? I'm a new way, citizen. I don't want to like suddenly arrive and go. How your does bell's it, broken. How does it break? I don't know it's how like it broke. I, I don't know. Iron. Like how the hell do you get a? Well, know? maybe it was temperature. Maybe it was the British. What are you, smarty pants? All of a sudden, <laughs> it was the temperature. Yes. Yeah. Temperature, like, you know, the temperature of the... Yes. Sure. Look, metal expands in heat. You <laughs> might as well know. Metal expands in heat, contracts in the cold. All right. That is much like gentlemen's equipment. <laughs> Exactly. That's true. Yes. Do ladies have the same problem? Like, do things expand and contract d during... <laughs> I, it's a fair question. And, and it's based entirely in science. It's a science to... I, am I ask... want you to go home to your wife. No? I want you to put her in the cold tub and just take a look. Put her in the cold tub? <laughs> Scientist, I'm asking you as a scientist, do ladies expand and contract in the cold like metal and gentlemen's yeah, equipment? Yeah, but only because we're only because in the cold we eat a lot. Oh. We gotta pack it on. <laughs>
<laughs> Pack it on there. That's yeah, where, well, that's it, where it goes on for me anyway. Me, it goes right here. No, I think it's a thigh. I don't, I, every once in a while, a little, little uh, muffin top, but no, very I, rare. I get, ooh, I get, I get a vajamuk. <laughs> I don't even know what, I don't think I want to know what that is. <laughs> it's a new word I'm trying out. I, I don't think it's going to make it past the censor, though, is it? <laughs> No, no, I don't like it. I pack it on here. I wish I packed on. I wish I was like a lady and packed on uh, weight in my thighs, because then you can just wear bigger pants. <laughs> come on. What do you mean, come on? Come on. You, you'd rather have... I, look, I don't want it anywhere, in all honesty. I'd rather not pack it anywhere. I'd, I'd love it if I could eat cupcakes and not pack it on anywhere. Well, you know... That's, you, that'd be you, my dream. You can't, you can't, you can't have that. <laughs> science doesn't allow it. No, science does not allow it. <laughs> do you eat a lot of cupcakes? Do you have a sugar problem? Uh... I wouldn't say, was, I, I don't need help or anything, you know, I don't need to like, I don't need to seek Are therapy sure? for it, but sure, I, I eat, I eat some, some cupcakes, I've been known to eat a few cupcakes. How many cupcakes do you eat a day? I, it would, I would say it's more of a weekly thing, I don't mm -hmm. want to say it's a mm -hmm. daily thing, mm -hmm. but I really mm -hmm. love cupcakes, and, it, and mm -hmm. speaking of your thing, it depends on the time of the month for me. <laughs> The hell? <laughs> well, you eat you eat different Certain things at different times of the month. I'll eat more cup. I'll have a craving for more cupcakes. Come on, yeah, this is a lady thing. All ladies know this. All ladies are down with this. <laughs> Either cupcakes or chocolate or you know so whatever you your thing just is. Guys, just make up and then justify it. It is totally oh, scientific. Come on. Oh, it's the time of the month. I need to steal your car. Oh, it's the time of the month. I'm gonna, oh, sorry, I had to shoot you, but I was uh, tired of that one. What the hell is this? What about accountability and responsibility? <laughs> it's just how it is. I guess. <laughs> I don't mind. You sure look pretty. Thank you. Is the movie good? The movie's really funny. Uh, the movie is, uh, I was saying to someone that uh, it has a lot of surprising humor in that it's a very it's a very sweet movie about this family, and we have this idiot brother and three sisters, which is actually my family. Um, Don't say that's the you're saying your brother's an idiot. No, my well, <laughs> I mean, no, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> he, and uh, my my brother's name is actually Jeff G E O F F, like your oh, fan, like, like fancy Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, oh, fancy yeah. Jeff. How about that? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, the movie has a surprising number of penises in it. <laughs> it's a very sweet movie on so many levels. And at the end of the movie, I just remember at the end of the movie, someone saying like, "Wow, like that." There was a lot of pieces in that movie, and I kind of forgot that there were so if many. I had a nickel for every time I said that at the end yeah. of the movie. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're out of time. <laughs> So, uh, both organ awkward pause, touch my glittery ball. Oh, the ball. Uh, I was hoping <laughs> you would say that because the, the touch my glittery ball thing, I, I don't really know that we've got really a bit for Hand that. It over. Oh, you think you can? Well, I mean, I'm going to touch it. Yeah, but. <laughs> well, there's two. This is a problem. We got the. I like what you're doing there, though. <laughs> you're going to have to get them closer together and, uh, really? and lower your expectations. <laughs> Huh. Here's a problem. Here's a problem right there. We've got your high tech. Well, and, uh, one's bigger than the other. That's right. That's, that's common. That's common. <laughs> so one of them is just a glittery, standard glittery ball uh -huh. on a roll of tape. Oh, sure. Uh, and the other one, high tech uh, industrial light and magic. Whoa. Glittery. Yes. So this one, that's this one is like in Ghost. <gasps> when they yeah. do this thing. Right, do it then. Let's reenact right? it. <laughs> guest is a very funny comedian. Whoa, that'll be a relief, Craig. Shut up. <laughs> his new DVD, Snuffbox, is available on his website. Take a look at this. <laughs> Rich Pilcher, everybody. Rich Pilcher. Come on. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Rich, 
I was following you on the Tweety today and you were debating whether or not to wear the blood tuxedo or the green suit. This would be the green suit. Yes, and I look like a Bulgarian carpet salesman. <laughs> Would you like to buy a carpet? Yes, I yes. would. I'm so well, gullible. We have many. We have olive green. We have green. <laughs> have you ever been to Bulgaria? No. Well, let me tell you, mister, they do have olive green and green. And it's a song. No. Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh. Olive green is really green. green. Only it's filled with olives. olives. <laughs> I was thinking watching a DVD later. Is this good? Yeah, man. Yeah? yeah? I'm telling you. It's the BBC. It's the BBC. You, it's the BBC you on do, the DVD. BBC on the DVD? You do, you do a lot of work with the BBC, don't you? Yeah, well, I try to keep my hand in, you know? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell does that mean? Well, you know, hey, there's lots of stuff going on. I like to keep my hand in. I like to keep my hand in. Sometimes I go like this. Well, sometimes I go like that. Can you call that again, Jeff? Do it like this. Yeah. And then like that. Yeah. It's funny how we can uh, do all that. And, not and, that funny, And actually. not no, leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he can't leave. That's He gets really upset, and then he can't leave. By the way, I have a name for my three genitals. <laughs> oh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Oh, that's not right, is it? Uh, wait, wait, I got one, I got one. Friends. Friends is yeah. great! Yeah. I like that, yeah, naming your genitals. We should hashtag that on the Twitter. Uh, that would go crazy! That would go crazy! Trending, people would go nuts for trend. Do it, It'll do it, man, do it! Yeah! 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 Somebody with a phone! No, no, no. I, uh, no, the phone doesn't work. Uh, oh, no, don't. it does. I shouldn't have it on. Oh, you, you this should. is wrong. No, you can have. You can take phone calls now. It's like on the plane. Like, is that really going to happen if you leave your phone on? <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You leave your phone on, it'll just not work. <laughs> yeah. You think the plane is going to not be able to use its electrical equipment because someone's got their phone on? What the I hell? I know. Come on. Who do they think they're kidding? They could send a man to the moon. Right. Not anymore. They can't. No. Right. <laughs> No, but they used to be able to send a man to the moon. What's happening? The world's going backwards. Nobody wants to go to the moon anymore. Because it's, ju it's just like Nevada. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. I look forward to your letters. Blackjack. <laughs> Float away. Cards. Are you still living in Britain? Well, I go back and forth. I keep my hand in. I keep your hand in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep my hand in Britain, and then in the U.S., I go, uh. <laughs> which part of Britain do you keep your hand in? Well, I'm in, the, I'm in London. Right, what uh, part? Which is very hip, and it's... No, Kent all of it. I used no, to live there. No, I, no, live all in, of it. I live in Kentish Town. I used to know is... a Coke dealer in Kentish Town that had a parrot. <laughs> he had a parrot, and you had to talk to his damn parrot when you were buying uh, drugs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I, knew a, I knew a pot dealer who had um, dust. Dust? <laughs> yeah. That's unusual. Uh, not anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah. What, he doesn't have pot anymore or dust anymore? He doesn't have dust. He's really clean now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never see him. I never see that guy whose name is Emil. No, I mean, just kidding. Yeah, no, no, slow this it down, man. You're, you're tripping over yourself and revealing the name of your source. Um, I am not revealing the source of Emil Rogers. So you're saying... <laughs> Holy shit. So you're saying you were involved in the hacking scandal in Britain, then? Yes, just for three months in 2009 with Rebecca Brooks <laughs> in the drawing room. With the candlestick the holder. Candlestick. Yeah. Yeah. Name your yes. But, I like it. Uh, Kenish Town is really fun, but it's not gentrified yet. It's no, it's still not. like they've got like um, you know you wouldn't know uh, this uh, hardware store is called DIY. Right, right. I do know that. You know that. I, right. I didn't. Oh, sorry. You touched me. Yep. <laughs> that and changes suddenly, everything. Yeah. Nothing, nothing is the same. <laughs> I'm lactating. Oh, sorry. Um, 
So there, there's the shop, which is, uh, it's one of the best shops in town. Because you go in, and the aisles are like this. Thick, and there's like screws and, and all the hardware things for it. making french fries yeah yeah yeah, yeah. those little cages and that you put the french fries in inside the fat yeah yes and then cages for um, um people. leopards <laughs> yeah and people they have cages for yeah. people oh I'll take one of those, oh, yeah. uh, one of those. I'd, I'd like a cage for a person <laughs> <laughs> You just go in. Yeah. Do you want a cage just for people? I want a cage for a person. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> you, you know. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then occasionally you just go behind one of the aisles, you go. <laughs> I like that. That's a great noise. Do you do an intake noise when you do that? <sighs> Hang on. You hurt yourself a little yeah. bit there, yeah. I think my lung is coming out of my mouth. You want to see a doctor about that? <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, Rich, we're out of time already. Did I what? plug everything? Did we, uh, mouth I, organ, I, glittery ball, touch my magic wand. I can't remember what they are. I, time. <laughs> touch your wand. No, no, oh, I just uh, made, I made right, that one yeah. up. Uh, um, how about uh, the mouth harp? <laughs> mouth organ. You got it. Uh, there you are. Can you blow? Can I blow? Does a chicken have lips? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh. Trouble getting your organ out there, eh? Big time. Can I have this? Yeah, you can keep it. Okay, you can keep that too. You can put things in it, like maybe stuff from your friend Emil. Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. this whole wearing sunglasses indoors in a dimly lit studio was kind of a douchebag thing to do, but actually, it feels kind of nice, doesn't it? It does feel nice. It does. Makes me feel kind of sleepy. Oh. What's suggestive about saying I feel sleepy? I'd like to go to sleep. <laughs> You'll go to sleep the minute I unplug you. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, everybody, what we learned on the show tonight was that the Liberty Bell cracked when it was first rung. Right, Jeff? That's true, Craig. <laughs> CBS cares. Good night, everybody.